Remember, seven may be an odd number, but it's only an S away from being even. Hey folks, welcome to This Week in History, brought to you by, as always, our sponsors, Steve Stevens, Clayton Jaimez, The Hayes Family, Patrick Freeman, and Mark Penn Griffin. We appreciate the support from you guys, and we appreciate the support from all of you through liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. But if you want to do more, you can always check out our Patreon. There's a link down in the description below. Anywho, let's get to it. On July 24th of 1534, French explorer Jacques Cartier planted a cross on the Gospe Peninsula, taking possession of the territory in the name of Francis I of France. He did this in full view of the native Iroquois and they knew exactly what it meant. But they were willing to work with the French, mostly because the French took two of the chief's sons hostage shortly after. On July 25th in 1722, the three-year-long Dummers War began between New England and their native allies against New France and their native allies, primarily the Wabanaki Confederacy. More or less fighting over possession of Maine and New Brunswick. It was pretty much a continuation of Queen Anne's War, because even though France and Britain may have signed a treaty, the Wabanaki didn't. On July 26th, 1814, the Swedish-Norwegian War began and ended almost three weeks later, with Norway being under Swedish rule, but not becoming part of Sweden. The Swedes even allowed Norway to pass their own constitution, but yeah, they knew who was really in charge. On July 27th of 1214, Francis Philip II decisively defeated Holy Roman, English, and Flemish armies at the Battle of Bouvines, effectively ending England's Angevin Empire. Some of you may remember from previous videos, King John's father founded it, his brother bankrupted it, and John lost it. On July 28th in 1656, the Battle of Warsaw began between the armies of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth against Sweden and Brandenburg. During the Second Northern War, the coalition won a victory even though they were outnumbered, and this battle is called by many as the beginning of Prussian military history, seeing as Brandenburg was technically Brandenburg, Prussia, then it became Prussia, it was this whole thing. On July 29th at 9.04, Saracen raiders under Leo of Tripoli sacked Thessalonica, the Byzantine Empire's second largest city, after a four-day siege, and plundered it for a week, taking about 22,000 captives who would mostly eventually be ransomed back. On July 30th at 762, a new capital of the Abbasid Caliphate was founded by Al-Mansur, who named it Baghdad. It would grow quickly and become the center of knowledge in, at minimum, the Islamic, if not the entire world. In 1932, Walt Disney's Flowers and Trees, the first cartoon short to use three-color Technicolor, and the first to win an Academy Award, premiered. And that's just going to about do it for this week. But we'll see you back here next week. Same Squirrel time, same Squirrel channel. Be happy, be healthy, and y'all come back now, you hear?